how to spot a fake guru. Guys, I'm going to get a little bit spicy in this video. I'm going to get a little excited. I can already tell because as I was just thinking about talking about this subject, it got me a little bit pissed off because there are so many, there are a lot of people that are making bad decisions. And I hear about it because they come to me and go, man, I really wish I would have heard about your stuff before I went and bought this course. And now I'm doing the antiquated, slow ass wheelchair method. And they're telling me to build 20 websites, 30 websites, 40 websites, and hopefully it'll work. Guys, let's talk about fake freaking gurus and how to spot them. There's a lot out there. For all you know, I could be one of them. I could be somebody who doesn't know what the hell they're doing. However, if that's the case, it's one of two things. I either am the best at pretending I'm the best at bullshitting, or I've actually done this shit and I've done it for years and years and years. Guys, you want to go look at my free Facebook group. You will see live sales calls, live closes, um, live, uh, uh, you will, you will find how much money I've made with proof guys. I am very, very, very adamant on this. And I, I get heated on this because I am so tired and I felt like because of the, some of the programs that I bought and didn't even think, should I be listening to this person? How much money has this person made doing this model, not by selling a program, but doing this model. I never asked these questions until it was too late. And then all that was left is for me to figure out how to do this on my own and how to develop a sales system. So I'm going to talk about how to spot a fake guru. Number one way to spot a fake guru is they do not make money doing the business model that they are selling. They do not make money doing the business model they're selling. Yes, they may be making money selling a course but they're not doing the business model. That's not how they make their money. That's not how they made their first couple million dollars. That's not how they live and pay their bills. That is a very interesting thing, isn't it? Or as they say in London, which I just got back from, in it, in it. Hmm. If the model's so good and you believe in it so much, and guys, maybe you guys are looking at SMMA, maybe you guys are looking at dropshipping. I hope you do. Go try it. You'll be back. I don't care what course you're buying. I don't care who you're going and listening to Ty Lopez to Grant Cardone to freaking, I don't care. Uh, how are they making their money? How are they making their money? Are they making money doing the thing that they're selling or only are they making, are they only making money by teaching and guys and, and let's make it be known. I make money doing both. I made my first million dollars in 2020 doing the business model. I made my second million dollars, second million and a half dollars in, in 2021 doing and in 2022. And now it's 2023. And guess what? We're still doing deals. We're still growing. We're still expanding. We just hired a new salesperson. We just hired a, a, a setter. We are building. We are grinding. This is why I can talk on this and get so heated because I believe that for me to step away from actually doing it would completely make me irrelevant. How could you listen to what I was saying if I wasn't in the game? You couldn't. But y'all are listening to people that have not been in the game for years, that don't even know what this is like, that don't even know what it's like to close a deal. They made $10,000 one month because they're good at sales. And then they got out of the game. They said, shit, I'm going to sell the program. I ain't going to do the thing. And maybe I'm just dumb and I should have done it sooner. But you know what? In my head, I didn't feel like I could open my mouth and start talking about how to do it and teaching people and inspiring people to do it until I'd made millions of dollars. I made a million dollars in 2020. I made 1.45 in 2021 before I ever opened my mouth. That's doing the business model, not selling the program. And trust me, I'm making plenty of money selling it too. Let's not, I'm not trying to hide that. I got no bones talking about it, but this is this, this model, this digital real estate, these recurring assets that are paying me on a semi-passive uh, basis. That's what pays my bills. That's what funds my lifestyle. You know what I'm doing with the other stuff? I'm putting it into assets. I'm buying real estate. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of people. I'm putting it back into my business. So number one is they do not make money from the model. Number two way to tell is they're still teaching the same shit they taught seven years ago, the same shit they taught four years ago. They're still using the same antiquated model and they will continue to dig their heels in and teach it. Why? Because they ain't got no options. They're a one trick pony, baby. They're not in the game. They're not getting their fingers dirty. They're not doing deals. They're not hiring people. They're not talking to business owners. They don't, they've lost touch. What are they going to teach you? They're teaching you what worked 
if they're teaching you, if, if what they're teaching you today is the same thing they taught you five years ago, that means that it worked for them eight years ago. And you got old information. You're getting taught antiquated methods. You're getting taught stuff that used to work before this came about, which is uh, sending the leads in advance, putting up a one pager, pushing the, the, the ads to a one pager, getting those leads and closing the deal up front. They are teaching antiquated models. They're digging their heels in because they got no option. How are they going to start competing with me? How are they going to come and tell and, and say that they do pre-selling? For what? They've never done it. They've never done it. So how are you going to compete with me, guys? How do you think, let me ask you this. How do you guys think I can literally think of a topic and I can riff on it for 20 minutes, an hour? You guys have seen me on some of these lives. If I hadn't done it, if I hadn't done it again and again and again and again, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Because the only reason that I can talk on it is because I've actually done it, okay? Last thing, telltale sign of a fake guru is ask them how much money they are currently making from the model. Not how much they made five years ago. Not how much they made one month. How much have they made total and how much are they making today? And you will see some very shifty people uh, diverting and changing the subject and telling you that it doesn't matter and telling you that they need to not do their business because they need to give you straight. No, bullshit. The best thing that they could do is lead from the front. The best thing that they could do is have a ripping agency that, that is, is trying new niches, that is trying new sales processes, that is trying new ad strategies, that is trying new SEO techniques. That's the best thing they could do. Not teaching some bullshit that's, at, that's out of date that they taught five, six, seven years ago, okay? Guys, we got people out here that have never made 30 grand that are teaching this. Never made 30 grand in a month that are teaching this shit. And some of y'all are falling for it, okay? We got people out here that have, been, that have been out of the game for years that are trying to teach this and that, that, that you guys are falling for. Guys, we got people that are making fake Reddit profiles, fake YouTube profiles, and instead of spending their time developing a product that actually works, they're going and shitting on everyone else's uh, programs because that's their strategy. Be very, very careful. And the last thing I would say is you're a human, okay? When you hear something that doesn't feel right, it's probably because it isn't. And if you're watching a YouTube video and it just doesn't add up, it's probably because it doesn't. And if that's, if you're listening to this right now and it doesn't feel right, then get off my channel. Okay. I, I would, I would hope that you would. Okay. Because what I've learned in my 32 years of being alive at the time of recording this video is that we know more than we think that we do. And when it doesn't feel right, it usually isn't. So listen to the things that people are saying and ask yourself, huh? Is this person still talking about stuff that was relevant seven years ago? Is this person talking about new deals that they've done? Is this person just sharing stuff and stories from the, the, the same, ex like guys, I, I don't need to go any further. Use your heads. I'm so tired of people coming to me going, man, I really wish I would have seen your program before I went and spent $8,000 or $6,000 or I don't give a shit if it's $1,000 and wasted your money on so-and-so program that doesn't teach me anything, who's not in the game, who's never made any money and who quite frankly is pathetic. Be careful, there's a lot of fake gurus out there. Do not believe anything that I say, question everything and put everything to the test. And if it's true, it should work.